Grenoble, French pronunciation, NBL, Arpiton, Grenoble, is a city in southeastern France, at the foot of the French Alps where the river Drac joins the Azir. Located in the Auvergne Rhone Alps region, Grenoble is the capital of the Department of Azir and is an important European scientific centre. The city advertises itself as the capital of the Alps due to its size and its proximity to the mountains. Grenoble's history goes back over 2,000 years, to a time when it was a small Gallic village. It gained somewhat in stature by becoming the capital of the Dauphiné in the 11th century, but Grenoble remained for most of its history a modest parliamentary and garrison city on the borders of the Kingdom of France. Industrial development increased the prominence of Grenoble through several periods of economic expansion over the last three centuries. This started with a booming glove industry in the 18th and 19th centuries, continued with the development of a strong hydropower industry in the late 19th to early 20th centuries, and ended with a post-World War II economic boom symbolized by the holding of the 10th Olympic Winter Games in 1968. The city has grown to be one of Europe's most important research, technology, and innovation centers, with each fifth inhabitant working directly in these domains. The population of the city commune of Grenoble was 160,215 at the 2013 census, while the population of the Grenoble metropolitan area, French Air Urbaine de Grenoble or Agglomération Grenoblois, was 664,832. The residents of the city are called Grenoblois. The many suburb communes that make up the rest of the metropolitan area include three with populations exceeding 20,000, St. Martin de Heers, Echiroles, and Fontaine. History For the ecclesiastical history, see Bishopric of Grenoble. Antiquity. The first references to what is now Grenoble date back to 43 BC. Coulero was at that time a small Gallic village of the Allobroges tribe, near a bridge across the Azir. Three centuries later and with insecurity rising in the late Roman Empire, a strong wall was built around the small town in 286 AD. The Emperor Gratian visited Coulero and, touched by the people's welcome, made the village a Roman city. In honor of this, Coulero was renamed Gratianopolis city of Gratian in 381 leading to Gregnaval during the Middle Age and then Grenoble. Christianity spread to the region during the 4th century, and the Diocese of Grenoble was founded in 377 AD. From that time on, the bishops exercised significant political power over the city. Until the French Revolution, they styled themselves the "...bishops and princes of Grenoble". <laughs> Middle Ages. After the collapse of the Roman Empire, the city was part of the First Burgundian Kingdom in the 5th century and the Second Burgundian Kingdom of Arles until 1032, when it was integrated into the Holy Roman Empire. Arletian rule was interrupted between 942 and 970 due to Arab rule based in Frachinet. Grenoble grew significantly in the 11th century when the Counts of Alban chose the city as the capital of their territories. At the time, their possessions were a patchwork of several territories sprawled across the region. The central position of Grenoble allowed the counts to strengthen their authority. When they later took the title of «Dauphins», Grenoble became the capital of the state of Dauphiné. Despite their status, the counts had to share authority over the city with the Bishop of Grenoble. One of the most famous of those was St. Hugh. Under his rule, the city's bridge was rebuilt, and a regular and leper hospital were built. The inhabitants of Grenoble took advantage of the conflicts between the counts and the bishops and obtained the recognition of a charter of customs that guaranteed their rights. That charter was confirmed by Kings Louis XI in 1447 and Francis I in 1541. In 1336 the last Dauphin Humbert II founded a court of justice, the Conseil Delphinal, which settled at Grenoble in 1340. He also established the University of Grenoble in 1339. Without an heir, Humbert sold his state to France in 1349, on the condition that the heir to the French crown used the title of Dauphin. The first one, the future Charles V, spent nine months in Grenoble. The city remained the capital of the Dauphiné, henceforth a province of France, and the estates of Dauphiné were created. 
The only Dauphin who really governed his province was Louis XI, whose reign lasted from 1447 to 1456. It was only under his rule that Dauphiné properly joined the Kingdom of France. The old Conseil Delphinal became a parliament, the third in France after the parliaments of Paris and Toulouse, strengthening the status of Grenoble as a provincial capital. He also ordered the construction of the Palais du Parlement finished under Francis I and ensured that the bishop pledged allegiance, thus forging the political union of the city. At that time, Grenoble was a crossroads between Vienne, Geneva, Italy, and Savoy. It was the industrial centre of the Dauphiné and the biggest city of the province, but nonetheless a rather small one. Renaissance Owing to Grenoble's geographical situation, French troops were garrisoned in the city and its region during the Italian Wars. Charles VIII, Louis XII, and Francis I went several times to Grenoble. Its people consequently had to suffer from the exactions of the soldiers. The nobility of the region took part in various battles and in doing so gained significant prestige. The best known of its members was Bayard, the knight without fear and beyond reproach. Grenoble suffered as a result of the French Wars of Religion. The Dauphiné was indeed an important settlement for Protestants and therefore experienced several conflicts. The Baron des Adrets, the leader of the Huguenots, pillaged the Cathedral of Grenoble and destroyed the tombs of the former Dauphins. In August 1575, Lestiguerres became the new leader of the Protestants and, thanks to the accession of Henry IV to the throne of France, allied himself with the governor and the lieutenant general of the Dauphiné. But this alliance did not bring an end to the conflicts. Indeed, a Catholic movement, the League, which took Grenoble in December 1590, refused to make peace. After months of assaults, Les de Guerres defeated the League and took back Grenoble. He became the leader of the entire province. Les de Guerres became the lieutenant general of the Dauphiné and administered the province from 1591 to 1626. He began the construction of the Bastille in order to protect the city and ordered the construction of new walls, increasing the city's size. He also constructed the Hotel Les de Guerres, built new fountains, and dug sewers. In 1689, the Bishop Etienne Le Camus launched the construction of St. Louis Church. <laughs> From Louis XIV to the French Revolution The revocation of the Edict of Nantes by Louis XIV caused the departure of 2,000 Protestants from Grenoble, weakening the city's economy. However, it also weakened the glove industry of grass, leaving the glove factories of Grenoble without any competition. This allowed a stronger economic development for the city during the 18th century. For example, at the beginning of that century, only 12 glovers made 15,000 dozen gloves each year. However, by 1787, 64 glovers made 160,000 dozen gloves each year. The city gained some notoriety on the 7th of June 1788 when the townspeople assaulted troops of Louis XVI in the Day of the Tiles. The people attacked the royal troops to prevent an expulsion of the notables of the city, which would have seriously endangered the economic prosperity of Grenoble. Following these events, the Assembly of Vizil took place. Its members organized the meeting of the Old Estates General, thus beginning the French Revolution. During the Revolution, Grenoble was represented in Paris by two illustrious notables, Jean-Joseph Monnier and Antoine Barnave. In 1790, the Dauphiné was divided into three departments, and Grenoble became the chef lieu of the Azir department. The city was renamed Grelibre to avoid association with out of fashion nobility, and only took back its previous name only under Napoleon. Only two abbeys were executed at Grenoble during the Reign of Terror. Pope Pius VI, prisoner of France, spent three days at Grenoble in 1799 before going to Valence where he died. <laughs> 19th century The establishment of the empire was overwhelmingly approved in Azir, the results showed 82,084 yes and only 12 no. Grenoble welcomed for the second time a prisoner pope in 1809. Pius VII spent ten days in the city en route to his exile in Fontainebleau. In 1813 Grenoble was under threat from the Austrian army, which invaded Switzerland and Savoy. 
The well-defended city contained the Austrian attacks, and the French army defeated the Austrians, forcing them to withdraw at Geneva. However, the later invasion of France in 1814 resulted in the capitulation of the troops and the occupation of the city. During his return from the island of Elba in 1815, Napoleon took a road that led him near Grenoble at Laffrey. There he met the Royalist 5th Infantry Regiment of Louis XVIII. Napoleon stepped towards the soldiers and said these famous words, "'If there is among you a soldier who wants to kill his emperor, here I am.'" The soldiers all joined his cause. After that, Napoleon was acclaimed at Grenoble and General Jean Gabriel Marchand could not prevent Napoleon from entering the city through the Bonn Gate. He said later, "'From Cannes to Grenoble, I still was an adventurer, in that last city, I came back a sovereign.'" But after the defeat of Waterloo, the region suffered from a new invasion of Austrian and Sardinian troops. The 19th century saw significant industrial development of Grenoble. The glove factories reached their golden age, and their products were exported to the United States, the United Kingdom, and Russia. General Haxo transformed the Bastille Fortress, which took on its present aspect between 1824 and 1848. The Second Empire saw the construction of the French railway network, and the first trains arrived at Grenoble in 1858. Shortly thereafter Grenoble experienced widespread destruction by extensive flooding in 1859. In 1869 engineer Aristide Burgess played a major role in industrializing hydroelectricity production. With the development of his paper mills, he accelerated the economic development of the Grazevodden Valley in Grenoble. On 4 August 1897, a stone and bronze fountain was inaugurated in Grenoble to commemorate the pre-revolutionary events of June 1788. Built by the sculptor Henri Ding, the Fountain of the Three Orders, which represents three characters, is located on the place Notre Dame. People in Grenoble interpret these characters as follows. Is it raining? inquires the third estate. Please heaven it had rained. Lament the clergy, and it will rain, proclaims the nobility. topic 20th century World War 1 accelerated Grenoble's economic development in order to sustain the war effort new hydroelectric industries developed along the various rivers of the region and several existing companies moved into the armaments industry for example in Livet et Gavet electrochemical factories were also established in the area surrounding Grenoble initially to produce chemical weapons this development resulted in significant immigration to Grenoble, particularly from Italian workers who settled in the Saint Laurent neighborhood. The economic development of the city was highlighted by the organization of the International Exhibition of Hydropower and Tourism in 1925, which was visited by more than one million people. The organization of this exhibition forced the military to remove the old city walls and allowed expansion of the city to the south. This exhibition also highlighted the city's hydropower industry and the region's tourist attractions. The site of the exhibition became an urban park in 1926, named Park Paul Mistral after the death of the mayor in 1932. The only building of this exhibition remaining in the park is the crumbling Tour Purit, which has been closed to the public since 1960 due to its very poor state of maintenance. During World War II, at the Battle of the Alps, the Nazi invasion was stopped near Grenoble at Vorep by the forces of General Cartier in June 1940. The French forces resisted until the armistice. Grenoble was then part of the French state, before an Italian occupation from 1942 to 1943. The relative mercy of the Italian occupiers towards the Jewish populations resulted in a significant number moving to the region from the German occupied parts of France. Grenoble was extremely active in the resistance against the occupation. Its action was symbolized by figures such as Eugene Chavant, Leon Martin, and Marie Reynaud. The University of Grenoble supported the clandestine operations and provided false documentation for young people to prevent them from being assigned to STO. In September 1943, German troops occupied Grenoble, escalating the conflict with the clandestine movements. On the 11th of November 1943, the anniversary of the Armistice of 1918, massive strikes and demonstrations took place in front of the local collaboration offices. In response, the occupiers arrested 400 demonstrators in the streets. 
On 13 November, the resistance blew up the artillery at the Polygon, which was a psychological shock for an enemy who then intensified the repression. On 25 November, the occupiers killed 11 members of the resistance organizations of Grenoble. This violent crackdown was nicknamed, Grenoble Saint Bartholomew. From these events, Grenoble was styled by the Free French forces the title of Capital of the Maquis on the antennas of the BBC. This event only intensified the activities of Grenoble's resistance movements. The Germans could not prevent the destruction of their new arsenal on 2 December at the Bonn barracks. After the Normandy landing, resistance operations reached their peak, with numerous attacks considerably hampering the activity of German troops. With the landing in Provence, German troops evacuated the city on the 22nd of August 1944. On the 5th of November 1944, General Charles de Gaulle came to Grenoble and bestowed on the city the Compagnon de la Libération in order to recognize a heroic city at the peak of the French resistance and combat for the liberation. In 1955, future physics Nobel Prize laureate Louis Neel created the Grenoble Centre for Nuclear Studies (CENG), resulting in the birth of the Grenoble model, a combination of research and industry. The first stone was laid in December 1956. In 1968, Grenoble hosted the 10th Olympic Winter Games. This event helped modernize the city with the development of infrastructure such as an airport, motorways, a new town hall, and a new train station. It also helped the development of ski resorts like Chamrousse, Les Deux Alpes, and Villard de Lans. Geography Grenoble is surrounded by mountains. To the north lies the Chartreuse, to the south and west the Vercors, and to the east the Belladonnet Range. Grenoble is regarded as the capital of the French Alps. Except for a few dozen houses on the slopes of the Bastille Hill of Chartreuse, Grenoble is exclusively built on the alluvial plain of the rivers Azir and Drac at an altitude of 214 metres 702 feet. As a result, the city itself is extremely flat. Mountain sports are an important tourist attraction in summer and winter. Twenty large and small ski resorts surround the city, the nearest being La Sapie and Chartreuse, which is about 15 minutes' drive away. Historically, both Grenoble and the surrounding areas were sites of heavy industry and mining. Abandoned mills and factories can be found in small towns and villages, and a few have been converted to tourist attractions, such as the coal mine at Lemure. Climate. Grenoble itself has an oceanic climate, Köppen climate classification CFB with no dry season. In spite of being classified as maritime, Grenoble contains significant seasonal differences between the warm to hot summers and the cool to cold winters. Both temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit for the summer months and winter air frosts are common. In addition, the climate is much gloomier than the Mediterranean region, although less so than northern France. Rainfall is quite heavy by French standards, although the amount of rain days is relatively moderate. As a result of winter lows averaging below freezing, snowfall is also occurring, although Grenoble itself is too mild to sustain a snow pack all winter, unlike surrounding mountains. The record low of minus 27.1 degrees Celsius minus 16.8 degrees Fahrenheit is decisively indicating its continental influence, the record being colder than all-time records in typical maritime climates. Winter nights are also colder than all other French cities of significant size. Topic: Population. Topic: Urbanism and architecture. The Bouchailleur Violet site is a powerful symbol of Grenoble's industrial past. This former factory is now converted into a dual-purpose area more closely linked to the Barriott neighborhood. Innovative business activities as Apple Inc. Co. exist with housing, sporting facilities, contemporary music venue and arts centers as La Magasin. At the entrance to the Bouchailleur Violet site, Square des Fuselets has been redeveloped and extended taking over an old car park, to facilitate access from the tramway stop and course Barriott. Redevelopment of the former de Bonne barracks was an important step in the drive to launch sustainable housing in France. 
In 2009, the site of Debon was distinguished as the best eco neighborhood in France. A shopping mall contains 53 shops arranged around an inner concourse, with one side opening onto the park and the other connecting to the town. <laughs> Main sites <laughs> La Bastille The Bastille, an ancient series of fortifications on the mountainside, overlooks Grenoble on the northern side and is visible from many points in the city. The Bastille is one of Grenoble's most visited tourist attractions and provides a good vantage point over both the town below and the surrounding mountains. The Bastille Fort was begun in the Middle Ages, and later centuries saw extensive additions, including a semi-underground defence network. The Bastille has been credited as the most extensive example of early 18th century fortifications in all of France. It then held an important strategic point on the French Alpine frontier with the Kingdom of Savoy. The first cable transport system, installed on the Bastille in 1875, was built by the Port de France Cement Company for freight. This cable transport system connected a quarry on Mount Yala, just over the Bastille, and Grenoble. It was abandoned in the early 20th century. Since 1934, the Bastille has been the destination of the Grenoble Bastille cable car. This system of mostly transparent egg-shaped cable cars known to locals as Les Bulls, the bubbles provides the occupants with an excellent view over the Azir. At the top are two restaurants and installed in the casemates of the fort itself since June 2006. The Bastille Art Center allows visitors to see contemporary art exhibitions. There is also a small military museum on mountain troops, Musée des troupes de Montaigne, and since 2000, a memorial to the mountain troops, Memorial National des troupes de Montaigne, further along the road on top of the hill. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Palace of the Parliament of Dauphiné. This Renaissance palace was constructed at the Place Saint André around 1500 and extended in 1539. It was the location of the Parlement of Dauphiné until the French Revolution. It then became the Grenoble Courthouse, until the courts were moved to a modern building in 2002. The left wing of the palace was extended in 1897. The front of the former seat of the nearby Dauphiné Parliament combines elements from a Gothic chapel and a Renaissance façade. The building now belongs to the Azir Council, Conseil General de Lissary. An ongoing renovation project will give this building a new life whilst preserving its patrimonial character and adding a modern touch. Topic: <laughs> Museum of Grenoble. The city's most prized museum, the Museum of Grenoble, Musée de Grenoble welcomes 200,000 visitors a year. It is primarily renowned for its extensive paintings collection, which covers all artistic evolutions. In the early 20th century the Museum of Grenoble became the first French museum to open its collections to modern art, and its collection of modern and contemporary art has grown to become one of the largest in Europe. The painting holdings include works by painters such as Veronese, Rubens, Zerberin, Angra, Delacroix, Renoir, Gauguin, Signac, Monet, Matisse, Picasso, Kandinsky, Joan Miro, Paul Klee, Giorgio de Chirico and Andy Warhol. The museum also presents a few Egyptian antiquities as well as Greek and Roman artifacts. The sculpture collection features works by Auguste Rodin, Matisse, Alberto Giacometti and Alexander Calder. In April 2010, the Prophetess of Antino, a 6th-century mummy discovered in 1907 in the Coptic necropolis of Antino in Middle Egypt, returned to the Museum of Grenoble, after more than 50 years of absence and an extensive restoration. Archaeological museums Situated on the right bank of the Azir, on Place Saint Laurent, the Grenoble Archaeological Museum presents the archaeological excavations done on its location. The vestiges date back all the way to the 3rd century AD and provide a timeline of the history of Christianity in the region. The museum is situated below a 12th century Benedictine church, under which Jacques Joseph Champoyon Fijac, brother of famed Egyptologist Jean Francois Champoyon, discovered a Roman church in 1803. 
It was one of the first classified monuments in France thanks to the intervention of Prosper Merimi, historic monument inspector. Systematic excavations were conducted from 1978 to 2011, as part of a regional research program on the evolution of churches during the Middle Ages. After eight years of work, the museum reopened 6 May 2011. The Musée de Langchen Evche is the second archaeological museum of the city, and located near the Grenoble Cathedral. Installed in 1998, it houses the first baptistry of the city. The Grenoble Town Hall hosts a bust of Stendhal by sculptor Pierre Charles Lenoir. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Education and Science. Topic: <laughs> 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 Secondary level. The large community of both foreign students and foreign researchers prompted the creation of an international school. The Cité Scolaire Internationale Europol (CSI Europol) was formerly housed within the Lycée Stendhal across from the Maison du Tourisme, but later moved to its own building in the Europol district. In the center of the city, two schools have provided education to the Isarwa for more than three centuries. The oldest one, the Lycée Stendhal, was founded in 1651 as a Jesuit college. An astronomical and astrological sundial created in the main building of the college in 1673 can still be visited today. The second oldest higher education establishment of Grenoble is the Lycée Champoyon, completed in 1887 to offer excellent education to both high school students and students of preparatory classes. <laughs> higher education The city is an important university centre with over 54,000 students in 2013, of whom 16% arrive from abroad. In a 1339 pontifical bull, Pope Benedict XII commissioned the establishment of the University of Grenoble. In 1965, the university mostly relocated from downtown to a suburban main campus outside of the city in Saint Martin de Hears, with some parts in Giers. However, smaller campuses remain both downtown and in the northwestern part of the city known as the Polygon Scientifique Scientific Polygon". From 1970 to 2015, the university was divided into four separate institutions sharing the campus grounds, some buildings and laboratories, and even part of their administration. Grenoble I, Joseph Fourier University Sciences, Health, Technologies, Grenoble II, Pierre Mendes France University Social Sciences, which includes the Institute of Political Studies Grenoble III, Stendhal University Humanities, Grenoble Institute of Technology INPG or Grenoble INP is a federation of engineering colleges. On the 1st of January 2016, the first 3 of those merged back to form the Université Grenoble Alpes. Campuses of the much smaller École Nationale de l'Aviation Civile French Civil Aviation University, École d'Architecture de Grenoble School of Architecture of Grenoble and Grenoble École de Management Management and Business Administration are also located in Grenoble. Science and engineering Grenoble is a major scientific centre, especially in the fields of physics, computer science, and applied mathematics. Université Joseph Fourier UJF is one of the leading French scientific universities, while the Grenoble Institute of Technology trains more than 5,000 engineers every year in key technology disciplines. Grenoble's high tech expertise is organized mainly around three domains information technology, biotechnologies, and new technologies of energy. Many fundamental and applied scientific research laboratories are conjointly managed by Joseph Fourier University, Grenoble Institute of Technology, and the French National Centre for Scientific Research. Numerous other scientific laboratories are managed independently or in collaboration with the CNRS and the French National Institute for Research in Computer Science and Control Other research centres in or near Grenoble include the European Synchrotron Radiation Facility the Institut Laoui Langevin the European Molecular Biology Laboratory the Institut de Radioastronomie Millimétrique, one of the main research facilities of the Commissariat à l'Energie Atomique Nuclear Energy Commission, C, the LNCMI and the European branch of Xerox Research whose most notable centre was PARC. 
Leti and the recent development of Minitech, a center for innovation in micro and nanotechnology, only increases Grenoble's position as a European scientific center. Biotechnologies are also well represented in the Grenoble region with the Molecular Biology Research Center Biomario, the Clinatech Center, the regional center Nanobio, and many ramifications of the global competitiveness cluster LionBioPol. Meanwhile, Grenoble has large laboratories related to space and to the understanding and observation of the universe as the Institut de Radioastronomie Millimétrique, the Institut de Planétologie et d'Astrophysique de Grenoble, the Laboratoire de Physique Subatomique et de Cosmologie de Grenoble, the Institut Neil, but also to a lesser extent the Institut des Sciences de la Terre part of the Observatoire des Sciences de l'Univers de Grenoble. In order to foster this technological cluster university institutions and research organizations united to create the giant Grenoble Innovation for Advanced New Technologies campus with the aim at becoming one of the world's top campuses in research, higher education, and high tech, the city benefits from the highest concentration of strategic jobs in France after Paris, with 14% of the employments, 35,186 jobs, 45% of which specialized in design and research. Grenoble is also the largest research centre in France after Paris with 22,800 jobs 11,800 in public research, 7,500 in private research and 3,500 PhD students. Grenoble is also renowned for the excellence of its academic research in humanities and political sciences. Its universities, alongside public scientific institutions, host some of the largest research centers in France in fields such as political science, urban planning or the sociology of organizations. Knowledge and innovation community Grenoble is one of the co-location centers of the European Institute of Innovation and Technologies Knowledge and Innovation Communities for Sustainable Energy. Economy Grenoble is one of the leading European cities in term of high-tech industries, especially biotechnology and nanotechnology. World-renowned enterprises have settled in Grenoble and in the surrounding area such as Schneider Electric, Hewlett-Packard, Caterpillar, Xerox and ST Microelectronics. Since 2011, the presence of Grenoble's first green data center, allows connected members to exchange traffic in order to avoid passing by faraway infrastructures. Since 1993 Grenoble can be considered as an international city thanks to the World Trade Center of Grenoble. Industry The town was once famous for glove manufacturing, for which Xavier Juven introduced an innovative technique in the 19th century. A few small companies keep producing gloves for a very high-end market. Companies In 2011, the largest employers in the Grenoble metropolitan area were The presence of companies such as HP or Caterpillar in the area has drawn many American and British workers to Grenoble, especially in the surrounding mountain villages. The region has the second largest English-speaking community in France, after Paris. That community has an English-speaking church and supports the international school. A lot of these Americans, British, Australians etc. go to Grenoble with the intention of returning home after some time but the mountains and general lifestyle keep them there. Some choose to put their children in the international school, Cité Internationale, and the American School of Grenoble is the alternative for those who prefer to have the core curriculum in English. With numerous associations like Open House, this large English-speaking population organizes family events making life in Grenoble harder to turn away from. Publisher Glenat has its head office in Grenoble. Innovale is a science park with about 12,000 jobs located at Malin and Monbano St. Martin near Grenoble. Media Tele Grenoble Azir is the local TV channel with France 3 Alps. The local newspaper is La Dauphiné Libéré. Sport 
Grenoble hosted the 1968 Winter Olympics. The city is surrounded by ski resorts nestled in the surrounding mountains. Stade Les Tigueres is located in Grenoble and has been the venue for International Rugby League and Rugby Union games. Grenoble is the home of First Rugby Union, FC Grenoble, and ice hockey teams, Brulors de Luz, and a second-tier football team, Grenoble Foot 38. Six Days of Grenoble, a six-day track cycling race held since 1971. The Via Ferrata Grenoble is a climbing route located on the hill of the Bastille in Grenoble. The abundance of natural sites around Grenoble, as well as the particular influence of mountaineering practices and history, make many Grenoble inhabitants very fond of sports and outdoor activities, e.g., hiking, mountain biking, backcountry skiing, rock climbing, and paragliding. The Tour de France cycling race regularly passes through the city. Transport A comprehensive bus and tram service operates 26 bus routes and five tram lines and serves much of Greater Grenoble, while a new cable car system known as the Matricable is scheduled to be completed in 2021. Being essentially flat, Grenoble is also a bicycle-friendly city. The Gare de Grenoble is served by the TGV rail network, with frequent high-speed services three hours to and from Paris Gare de Lyon, usually with a stop at Lyon saint exupery Airport. While Grenoble is not directly on any high-speed line, TGVs can run at reduced speeds on the classic network and enable such connections. Local rail services connect Grenoble with Lyon, and less frequently to Geneva, to Valence, and to destinations to the south. Valence and Lyon to the west provides connections with TGV services along the Rhone Valley. Rail and road connections to the south are less developed. Grenoble can be accessed by air from Grenoble Azir Airport, Lyon Saint Exupery Airport, and Geneva International Airport, with the airport bus connections being most frequent to Lyon Saint Exupery. Highways link Grenoble to the other major cities in the area including the A48 autoroute to the northwest toward Lyon, the A49 to the southwest toward the Rhone Valley via Valence, the A41 to the northeast toward Chambéry, the Alps, and Italy and Switzerland. A partial ring road around the south of the city, the Rocade Sud, connects the motorway arriving from the northwest A48 with that arriving from the northeast A41. A project to complete the Ring Road, with a tunnel under the Bastille as part of the likely routes, was rejected after its environmental impact studies. From 2014 to 2017, the city of Grenoble tested the rental of 70 I road electric vehicles. In 2016, the speed limit was lowered to 30 km per hour .6 miles per hour in 80% of the streets of Grenoble and 42 neighbouring municipalities, to both improve safety and reduce pollution levels. The limit however remains 50 km per hour on the main arteries. Culture Grenoble hosts several festivals, the Détours de Babel in March, the Open Air Short Film Festival in early July, and the Cabaret Frappé Music Festival at the end of July. The Summum is the biggest concert hall in Grenoble, and the most famous artists produce there. Another big hall, Le Grand Angle, is located nearby in Voron. Smaller halls in the city include the Salle Olivier Messiaen in the Minim Monastery. The main cultural centre of the city is called MC2 for Maison de la Culture, version 2, which hosts music, theatre, and dance performances. The Conservatory of Grenoble is founded in 1935. There are several theatres in Grenoble, the main one being Grenoble Municipal Theatre Others are the Théâtre de Création, the Théâtre Primal, and the Théâtre 145. Grenoble also hosts upstage productions, which performs once a year through an exclusively English-speaking troupe. There are two main art centres in Grenoble, the Centre National d'Art Contemporain also called Le Magasin and the Centre d'Art Bastille. Grenoble is known for its walnuts, Noix de Grenoble which enjoy an appellation of controlled origin. The town also hosts a well-known comics publisher, Glenat. People from Grenoble International relations 
After World War I, one street in the center of Smederevska Polanka Serbia was named French Street and one street in Grenoble was named Polanka Street There is also a Belgrade Street near the Azir. <laughs> Twin towns and sister cities Grenoble is twinned with Gallery See also Arboretum Robert Ruffier Lanch Bishopric of Grenoble Couvent des Minimes de Grenoble Grandeplace List of mayors of Grenoble Route Napoléon Saint Roch Cemetery <laughs>